The second product today is Grippy, which is from Bionic Hope Private Limited. This is an advanced prosthetic hand with a sense of touch and multi-grip control. It is a 3D printed, lightweight and affordable, battery powered prosthesis for people with below elbow amputation and aged 15 years and above. The video please. It was an absolute honor to have made these announcements in the esteemed presence of our chief guest for today, Shri Piyush Goenji, the Honorable Minister. And I would now invite you, sir, for your address. Over to you, sir. <clears throat> Thank you very much, Madam. Secretary, Department of Biotechnology, Dr. Renu Sarup, Head, SPED, and the Bayrak. Uh, Biotechnology Industry Research Assistance Council, Dr. Manish Divan, the Chief Operating Officer of ABLE, Dr. Suresh Narayan, Shri Amit Kapoor, all other dignitaries joining us on this uh, program, both from India and abroad, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. I'm truly impressed with the size and scale of growth that your work, Dr. Saroop, and your team had demonstrated in the last two years, since I first had the privilege of interacting with those young startups at the AeroCity complex. I have very fond memories of that evening. I think uh, the vibrancy that was evident that evening, the excitement that I could see across that large pandal, the enthusiasm of our young boys and girls was quite infectious. And I must compliment you, Dr. Saroop, and your team for your leadership of this activity. It's not simple. It's a new field, uncharted territory, a lot of learnings, a lot of stumbling along the way but uh, the results are truly phenomenal. As against a target of 2,000, you just informed us you've crossed 4,200 uh, startups in this sector. The $70 billion output contribution to the GDP slated to grow up to 100 billion, 150 billion by 2025 including 100 billion in manufacturing, truly gives you a phenomenal potential in the future. The five selected products that you have launched today are, are reflective of the contemporary thinking that you and your team are engaged in. I mean, each one of them is so relevant to us in today's times be it the vaccine distribution at the last mile, be it the prosthetic hand. We have millions and millions of uh, our citizens who are suffering from uh, losing their limbs. We have organizations like the Jaipur Foot, of course, giving human service. But something like uh, what you have shown, the multi-grip 3D printed device, if it can be made to scale and made more affordable, it can actually be so precise as to not, not create an artificial limb, but almost a real limb. That's the level of precision that technology can 
bring into it. Both, uh, all the three other devices, whether it's the wastewater treatment and sewage uh, device, whether it's the device which helps medical monitoring of patients, or the device which gives location of surgical instruments. All of these are reflective of India's own Atmanirbhar Bharat campaign to become self-sufficient in modern technology, particularly in healthcare, and going forward, ensure that 1.35 billion Indians get a better quality of life, get better healthcare facilities. And as they say, when you combine bioeconomy with the digital and information economy, you get biotech. And I think that will truly be the defining moment for India's future economic growth, for India's engagement with the rest of the world, and demonstrate India's capabilities as a powerhouse of innovation, invention, and research.